I have uh, these here, which is uh, relevant to Surah Mulk. Today's video was quite short, so I thought I'll bring that uh, hadith. Kalan Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallama minal Qur'ani salasuna ayatan. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in Qur'an there are 30, 30 ayah, shafa'at li rajlin hatta ghufira lahu. So, these ayah that surah kept on interceding until that um, man was forgiven. Wahiya tabarakallazi biyadihil mulku. And that is tabarakallazi biyadihil mulku. Wahua ala kulli shayin kadir. So that's uh, Surah Mulk. And um, Prophet used to read Surah Mulk and Surah Sajda every night at bedtime. And uh, in a way that is Sunnah of our Prophet. And that's another hadith about that's Sarvahu Abu Dawud from Tirmidhi. And this is also from Tirmidhi hadith. An Ma'ad ibn in Kala, Kala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. Man ahabba sunnati. Whoever liked my sunnah, whoever loved my sunnah, or showed affection to my sunnah, fa ahabbani, so he loved me. Wa man ahabbani, and whoever loved me, or liked me, kana ma'iya fil jannah, he is going to be with me in jannah. So, Reciting uh, Surah Mulk has got a double benefit. One, it is going to intercede until one is forgiven. And second, it's a Sunnah as well. Um, I just um, work on grammar. I know a little bit of grammar. I'm not really in a position, I'm not a scholar, so I'm not really in a position to give advice to anyone. I'm a fallible human being anyway. Um, but from time to time, something like uh, this will come, and these are only 30 ayahs and um, they're easy to memorize and if we if that becomes our habit to read at bedtime that will be great subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik